Retirement number. What is that? Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale. And today we're back with another great installment of what is that? Today we're talking about your retirement number as part of a mini series on retirement planning. So let's get to it and start right at the beginning. Retirement number. What is that? The retirement number is the dollar amount you need in your bank account so you can comfortably retire for the rest of your life. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what is that number? But the truth is, I actually can't give you the specific number. What I can give you is the formula. The reason why I can't give you the number is because the number looks different to every single person. It depends on what age you are now, what kind of savings you've already accumulated, how much money you make. There's so many different factors and we're going to break down what that formula looks like. So at the end of this video, you can come up with your retirement number. So a general rule of thumb is that you will need 80% of the current income you make in retirement. The first step is to look at what sources of income you're going to have in retirement. These are things like social security, pensions, 401k plans, IRAs, annuities, cash value of life insurance. What do you currently have now for retirement? Next, look at how much you make and how much you spend. This is why tracking your expenses is so important. The spending piece is a key important factor in determining how much you'll need to have in retirement based on how much you're spending now. There's a commonly known guideline called the 4% rule, which states if you withdraw 4% of your savings and adjust that for inflation each year, then the chances of you running out of money in 30 years is very slim. Okay. Let's use a real life example to put this all into perspective. You and your spouse make $150,000 together. 80% of 150,000 is 120,000, right? Because we talked about how you need 80% of your current income in retirement. You then look at your retirement accounts and you actually haven't saved anything. You don't have a pension. You don't have a 401k. You don't have an IRA. At this point, you're just relying on social security. So you take a look at your last social security statement and it says that when you retire, you and your spouse will receive about $6,000 a month, which is $72,000 a year. This leaves a shortfall of $48,000 that you need to come up with to achieve $120,000 in retirement. So if we now use the 4% rule, we can figure out how much total you need in retirement in order to safely withdraw $48,000 a year. 48,000 divided by 4% is 1.2 million. That's the retirement number for this example. This couple needs 1.2 million in retirement savings in order to comfortably withdraw 48,000 per year, combine that with their social security and now make $120,000 a year in retirement. Now that we have the retirement number for this example, let's figure out how much this couple needs to save every year to get there, right? Because we just said this couple doesn't have anything in 401k, IRA, no pensions. They need to start saving pretty aggressively to get to 1.2. Let's say this couple is about 35 years old and they plan to retire at about 65 years old. That's only 30 years away from retirement. They will need to save at least $40,000 annually to achieve 1.2 million in retirement savings. This assumes that there is no growth on what they're saving, which you and I both know there will be growth. 40,000 is a lot of money to save every single year. I get that. And that's why it's so important to save early and often and aggressive for retirement. If you truly want to live a great lifestyle in retirement, please keep in mind that all of the numbers for this example are truly made up. Receiving $6,000 a month from social security. Maybe that happens. Maybe it doesn't. We don't know what's happening with the social security program and we don't know how much you'll receive specifically. So it's important to look at your specific social security statements. 
Also, saving $40,000 a year, you can actually save a little less if you're counting on growth. Because if you save 40,000 year one and you have a four or 5% growth, that 40,000 is now much more money and it starts to compound. The most important thing I want you to take away from this video is save for retirement early, often, and aggressive. We hope you enjoyed this latest installment of what is that? Please hit the like button if you loved this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.